Earlier this month, we told you about plans to build a national slavery museum in Richmond. And former Governor Doug Wilder tried and failed to open one in Fredericksburg. Three years ago, we confronted him about all the artifacts that had been donated and never returned. And when we found out the governor was speaking out on behalf of this newest project, Teddy Your Side pressed him to return what he's already taken. Andy Fox is here with our continuing efforts to find answers. So what did you find out, Andy? Well, Nicole, this is L. Douglas Wilder right here. The new museum will likely not include former Governor Wilder, whose track record with slavery museums is poor. And the one who knows that the most is Suffolk resident Thurbia Parker. He was a failure at this. The museum was a failure to Doug Wilder. Thurbia Parker's words cut deep. Ten years ago, he gave former governor Doug Wilder $75,000 worth of donated artifacts like these for Wilder's U.S. Slavery Museum that went into bankruptcy and will never be built. So it was no surprise at a May 8th news conference supporting another slavery museum, Wilder did not want to talk about Thurbia Parker when confronted by 10 on your side photographer Aaron Kurtz. If Mr. Parker does call you today and ask I'm not going to answer that anymore. I've, I've dealt with that. I've dealt with that. Yes. I have dealt with that. Wilder has not dealt properly with Thurbia Parker. Just ask Parker. It's been 10 years. I spoke with him twice in his office and by phone, and each time, he's lied to me. I've even sent Doug Wilder registered letters, and I got the return back that somebody signed for those letters. Parker believed in Wilder's dream to build the museum and gave the artifacts to show support for the effort with a clear understanding in this contract if the museum ceases to exist or fails to become a reality, the property shall be returned to the donors. We went with Parker to Wilder's office and confronted him in November 2011. This is uh, Thurbia Parker. He is one of the contributors to your slavery museum. Yeah, well, I won't be talking to Well, I, he wants his artifacts back, sir, and we just want to know what he needs to do in order to get them. Can you make a call for them? Nearly three years later, Parker's still looking for the artifacts. And I talked with Mr. Parker in front of you and also behind closed doors. And you may say to Mr. Parker, anytime he wants to contact me, he can. One. So once again, Parker reached out to Wilder. I'm not in right now. Give me a call later. Thank you. I would like to have my artifacts returned to me according to the conditions of the contract. He also emailed no return from the former governor. Will you hand over the artifacts? I if will talk. Them back. I will speak with Mr. <coughs> Thurber whenever he chooses. And you speak with him. Parker now thinks the artifacts may be lost, may be sold, but Wilder told us where they are. Where, where are the artifacts? They're stored. But to show you how out of touch Wilder is on this issue, he suggested we are stirring up Parker. I have had my conversations with the gentleman, and uh, there are others who would like to him to be stirred up. He is not. Oh, yes, Parker does want the issue stirred up. Make a hellfire out of it. I want it stirred up. And you can quote me on that. Parker stirred it up back in 2011 when he confronted Wilder. He assured me I would get my artifacts back. He promised. He yes. made that commitment. He assured me that I would get them back. Empty promises in 2011 and empty promises today. Empty promises from a once trailblazing politician. Parker thinks this could be Wilder's final lasting legacy. Does he want this to be a part of his legacy? I'm very disappointed as Doug Wilder as a man, as a former governor, of a, as a person of integrity. For Parker, this last statement is typical Wilder. So, even though he's reached out to you, he's you say that. Six, you say that. Wait a moment. You well, say I that. To him last night. Well, then he can talk to me today. So he can call you up anytime he wants to. If they have not already been sold or lost, the artifacts are likely in storage at Virginia Union University or a storage facility in Northern Virginia. Neither would return our calls. You may wonder, why won't former Governor Wilder just give back the artifacts? Well, we've asked the same thing, but Wilder never has an answer. We asked Parker, why don't you get a lawyer? Money. Parker can't afford to do that. We will continue fighting for him, and we will keep you updated on our progress. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.